Afternoon all, welcome to Brobell Woods. I haven't used this little cheap head cam um, GoPro substitute for a while. I hope I've got things set right and I think there's enough light that it will record the walk we're going on. Um, so here we go. Uh, lovely and quiet and under the trees it's quite cool and I'm now far enough away that the um, piece of garden machinery that's operating over there somewhere won't be so audible so here we go for a walk I sort of know where we're going but not quite you may get occasional Pokemon Go background noises because I've got that on in my uh, run bag because I want to clock, clock some kilometers towards various in-game activities but the main thing this afternoon is to have a wander in the woods because I haven't done so for a while. The vague plan at the minute is to head in the direction of uh, Worcester Mine if I can find it. Um, somewhere along there there will be a coffee and pasty break during which time I will stop the recording. Uh, and I need to be sat down at home by about 7 o'clock. Apart from that, it really is a case of what we see is what we find, or something. And yes, I will chatter on from time to time, um, inconsequentially, as usual. Now, memory says that last time I got to this point, I went the wrong way. Ah, yes. You may be able to see through the trees. That's a sort of a, th uh, a tripartite uh, electric post. And there's the wires going across. And in order to get past it to where I want to go, I need to go right. I've actually got remembered that bit last time I went around that way and um, had to kick through some uh, undergrowth but the undergrowth is a bit more grown than it was then so I uh, don't really want to do that looking back up through there you can see some houses on the edge of Broadwell coincidentally I grew up until I was eight in a village called Broadwell but not this one we were actually in Oxfordshire, but the postal address was a Gloucestershire one. And when I was eight, we moved to the next village, half a mile from that house. Yes, but because we were... Our, our closest delivery office was Letchlade, which is of course in Gloucestershire, we got a, a Gloucestershire postcode. Nice one, Royal Mail. Ah, okay, that isn't the three-part one, but nevertheless, this was the right way to come. Because following this, uh, these wires, they go right down past Worcester Mine, crossing over the forestry road and right on down past Worcester Mine. And it no, they've taken that away because it should, that should be the three point one because here is the entrance to the Worcester War community area uh, which way should we go folks? Worcester Walk or Worcester Mine? Um, um, dithering and dothering but I think we'll take a couple of photographs uh, that little bush there warrants a close up. And I think we're going to go left 
towards Worcester Mine. Might even be able to find a side entrance into Worcester Walk and come back that way. Can't guarantee I'll manage that, but um, we'll see. It don't matter anyway. It's just a case of walkies. And memory says that path goes down to the edge of uh, some holiday properties. Might be Worcester Lodge. And that's right by... The entrance to that is right by the bottom end of um, Worcester Lodge. So yeah, if I can find a way to get across from this path to it, we can, might do it as a circular tour rather than out and back. And that's always preferable if you can arrange it. That's a picture that needs to be shot, just looking into there. And that one as well, because of the uh, sunlight through trees effect, which is something I'm always very fond of. Barn in the Park, Saturday the 14th of May. Okay, that's over and gone. <laughs> no point reading any more of that, because it's two weeks, two weeks gone. Ah, cyclists. That's the noise I could hear, cyclists. Two of them. But they're going far faster than I'm walking, so uh, they won't trouble us. Okay, now, yes, I think that would take us around to the side of Worcester Walk as we come back. Um, if I want to go straight back, we have to keep right at this post. And of course, my old faithful, no, this is, this is a different, this is a different way I've come because, um, I think, there always used to be some yellow height limiting posts here to prevent over height uh, forestry vehicles from coming through, but that's gone now. However, uh, ah, this looks like the end coming up of the track that will take us down to where we want to go. Last time I came down here, Worcester Mine was all barriered off and not accessible which I gathered because there had been, during lockdown, a couple of uh, illegal raves, or plans for illegal raves down there. Here we go, yep, still following the... Still fo yep, and the camera's still recording, so I've just heard it give a cheep as it saves, a, saves an element. If I plugged it into my battery pack, it would just record as one long piece. Uh, which in some ways is more convenient until you come to a bit that you want to cut out uh, then it's more difficult so uh, on balance I'll go with um, what we got particularly as I want to keep make sure my phone stays alive and Pokemon Go does drain the batteries rather fast Time for another photo stop. Ah, here we go. There is the uh, the barrier. that uh, 
wasn't visible the first time I walked down here. I think it was still there, but it was folded back to our left and a bit derelict. But yes, it is now um, in place. And uh, yeah, we ain't going to get any closer. To, we ain't going to get any closer because I'm a great believer in respecting um, people's boundaries like that. Oh, it wouldn't be hard to get over or under it, but uh, and it's a shame we can't see more of it because I'd like to see what's happened here since I like ah, well, there's the old hut. And that looks even more derelict than last time I was here. Let's see if we can get a shot of it through the trees. Um, but that's about all. There is a railway track. The entrance is over there to the right where I'm pointing. There's a track, a railway track, about a one foot gauge, I think, that comes down. And then there was another track, not connected, which goes along the way we're facing now to a point, I presume, where they could get a vehicle in to take out any coal. But I was given to understand that uh, the mine collapsed internally some years ago and was no longer worked. Although I did hear that somebody was hoping to reopen it. OK, well, that's all we can see there. So I guess we will head for um was to walk because that slope down there doesn't look terribly um inviting if i were maybe 30 40 years younger i might tackle it but i'm not on the other hand we can go round here a bit without going down at all or significantly Still can't see the um tracks and uh nah I'd be walking along like a what well, looks like a forty five degree slope and I'm not doing that. So that's all we're gonna see there, I'm afraid. And again, we could scramble up there a bit, but I'm not sure what it leads to. And uh, I've reached a phase in my life when very often discretion is the better part of valour. Uh, this is going to be one of those occasions, I'm afraid. So uh, we'll go back the other way. And you'll probably have to shelter the camera so you won't get, it won't be so bad. So I like this hat, it shelters, shelters my eyes and shelters the back of my neck. And in this light, I need to use the viewfinder rather than the LCD screen because the light reflects off it and I can't see very much. I don't know what that red club sign up there means. It's wrong. Clubs is a black suit. But uh, yeah, it's there. I imagine it's something to identify uh, which part of whatever electricity business has to uh, look after it.
Okay, so here we are back at the forestry road. I don't know quite where it goes that way, although I have my uh, suspicions. Right, let's just check out. Yes, that that one is recording uh, the route in the uh, required fashion. Beauty of it is this uh, route tracker I've got doesn't need a SIM in the phone. It just requires, it works purely off GPS. So we are here. That looks like the Worcester Lodge. Yeah. So it looks as if, go down here and there's a path that will get us across to the bottom of the Worcester Walk area, which is the green area as I'm scanning round. Just trying to find out where that is. Yes, that's the Forestry Commission Information Board at the bottom of it. Uh, the gym is blue, which is good because it means I can put a Pokemon in there if I feel like it. And if I can get signal, because um, signal down there is, uh, well, like in most of the forest, your signal can be very iffy. I think I like that one better, zoomed in slightly. That wind sounds just like a car behind me. Well, it could be, I suppose, if they drove past the, if they got past the forestry uh, uh, barrier, or if they found one open, or if they had a forestry key. But I think it actually is the wind. So uh, around about now, we're probably going over the top of the Worcester mine. So we'll have a look down and see if there's anything more that can be seen, but uh, it's all rather green here, so it may not be uh, possible. Uh, my feeling is straight ahead, it would lead down to the Speech House Road uh, via the uh, Worcester Lodge Holiday Place Drive. But given that my car is some way from there, I don't feel particularly inclined to find out today. Now, if my theory about the uh, egress from Worcester Mine is correct, there should be somewhere just ahead on the left a track big enough for a vehicle, although that may be overgrown by now as it hasn't been used for some time. This is an interesting little tracky poos. Uh, uh, now on balance I think we will uh, give that one a miss. Or a missus if it prefers. Oops! And I would be very grateful if my left ankle would refrain from um, nearly giving way like that as it did there. Very grateful, Mr. Ankle. to say for uh, for off-road navigation the Pokemon Go app is actually pretty pretty good even if I'm wanting to play it just to have the app is quite useful because it shows most public footpaths as well as the roads so if you get off uh, off the beaten track 
as long as there's a footpath nearby, we'll be okay to get back to something. This looks interesting too. Let's have a. a Quick look down here. Looks as if it goes down fairly steeply over there, as you may see. Let's get a shot with the sun through the trees. I have one particular friend who is very fond of sun through trees shots. I don't actually know how well this one's going to come out, but uh, we've done it now. Beauty of uh, digital photography, it doesn't come out, you throw it away and it doesn't cost you anything except a couple of seconds to take the picture Ow. yeah second twinge from the ankle so uh, yeah we are not going down that steep bit there because that could be said to be uh, asking for trouble and as I said just now, um, discretion is the better part of valour, because if I fell and took a tumble down there, I could be there for a couple of days. Although it's quite nice and warm, it still wouldn't be a, a good thing to have happen, I suspect. Hello Bracken, you're nearly as tall as me. Wasn't there a character in... Uh, Watership down, one of the rabbits called Bracken. Ah, it's probably 20, 20 years since I read that book. And the video is still recording because again I've just heard the uh, chief as it saves the segment. The beauty of having the other route tracker going, if I happen to get lost, all I have to do is get back onto that route and follow it back the way I came, which I did one night on a Welsh mountain. When it was getting dark and it was very wet, and there was only one place to get across a particular stream. Uh, having the, uh, the route tracker was extremely valuable that day. And I didn't get the sunset I'd gone for either. Huh. There was, by the looks of it, some kind of a sign there at the bottom of that tree, but all there is now is a piece of wood. So uh, there's no value at all in trying to get closer to look, because whatever signage was stuck to it clearly isn't there now. What we're looking for is a fairly clearly visible trail going off to the right. But so far I'm not seeing one. Ah, this could be it. Let's uh, see what the Pogo mapping says. No, that's lost. That's lost its trails. Ah, according to the Pogo mapping, we should have gone across somewhere further back where there wasn't room to do so. Ah, oh, you made me jump. <laughs>
Well, I didn't see the trail that I'm looking at on here, which is bizarre. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see what we think about this one. It looks like it might actually be a, a very well-trodden path. Albeit a bit steep and my shoes don't have amazingly good grip. But yeah, this looks pretty. And it's under the trees instead of being out in, um, out in the sun on a relatively boring uh, forestry road. So we will go this way. Even if we get lost, it's not a major problem because in the backpack with my coffee and pasty is also my head torch, which is probably 80% of full charge. So we get home again. Something I always like is the uh, sun through the trees like we got ahead of us now. That needs a photo. Okay, so this is a fairly well marked trail, which it does quite often. Usually at a time when it's most inconvenient. Ah, this looks like a nice little seat. Should we pause for. Uh, ah, that one looks even better actually. Hello. Um, do you, sorry, just to warn you, this is recording. This is a bike Careful mate, yeah, you're still in the middle of a bike track. You might get some kind of fast people. Yeah, um, what I'm trying to do is find a path that will get me across to the bottom of Worcester Walk, by the, um, Worcester Lodges. Uh, Worcester Lodges is that way. It's back that way, is it? Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, thanks. Because then I can walk back th up through the Worcester Wall community area. Yeah, there's two big fields which is the Worcester Wall. Yeah, I know that bit fairly well. Oh, Worcester Lodge is right next to there. Yeah, so once, once I find Worcester Lodge, I, I'm good to go because my car's up by the Worcester Wall playground. Oh, okay. It's just knowing to go this way, right, because yeah, I would have gone that way. Yeah, it's that, that direction. That way, right, thanks. <laughs> and this is the perfect place to sit and have a coffee and a pasty. Yes, I say you, you, ha you are recorded and it's going up on YouTube later. Oh, okay, hopefully I've uh, not given you wrong directions. But, uh, well, it doesn't matter, Do doesn't matter if you have because, um, you know, <laughs> I ideally I want to be home by seven. Yes, oh, you should be. You should be but if I'm not, if I'm still out here in the dark, yeah. as long as me, as long as me coffee in there, I've got me head torch, oh, right. which is car headlight bright. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Good Thanks. Good Thanks. Good Bye. Okay, so we've paused the route tracker for now because it um, seems sensible to do so. We will make ourselves comfortable here and we will pause the filming as well. I'll be back. You'll have to put up with my hands coming across here because I have to take the thing out to uh, be sure I've turned it off. Yes, it is still, it does still appear to be filming. Yes, and we're recording again. Excuse my fingers and things, I've just got to put the camera back in its mount, having checked that it's doing what I want it to do. So, let's just have a quick pan round, because it's lovely and green here. And apart from my chattering, the only sound really it's the birds and the breeze. We're far enough away from the speech house that we can't hear the traffic from that road. And we're good to go. As in the words of that silly old Tesco I did from years ago, onward. 
down twice right and we've now got the camera back into landscape mode and we'll take a picture of where we're going I'm glad I asked that pregnant lady about the route because who knows where I would have ended up um, but not where I want to be that's a certain fact the free miners edit trail that would be uh, an interesting thing to track sometimes but it appears to be a uh, a cycling trail and I don't cycle so uh, someone else will have to do that one right now I need a I need the Pokemon app again or more correctly I need the Pokemon map Yes, I've got two bars of signal, so we should be um, okay on that. Although at the minute it looks... Ah, no, here we go. Mm. I think it's getting there, but it's on a go slow. Uh, and I think I'm going to bear left here. Yeah, decision made, we'll go this way. And if it turns out to be the wrong way, then we'll compensate later. Or something. Or we may never get to Worcester Lodge. Oh, no matters. Okay, that's taking forever to load, so um, we'll put it on tax protection, chuck it in the bum bag, and uh, wander on. There's a picture of where we've been. And more sunlight behind the tree shots. There won't be a, uh, well there might be a sunset, but it's unlikely I'll be out photographing the sunset tonight. But never say never. And I will try not to remember to whistle tunelessly as I walk. Ah. That's a strange hollow. Hmm. You gotta love this green all the way. I have said many times before, and will probably say again, why would anyone prefer city life over this? Beyond me. I remember travelling on a tube from King's Cross back to Paddington in the Friday evening rush hour. Rammed in like sardines. There's another train in two minutes, but no, can't wait for that. Everybody sort of cram onto this one, you know. <sighs> Silly. Ah, now we have another fork in the path.
Ah, okay. So we bear left here, we're going to meet a major path. And then we hook a right part way down that and we'll be more or less where we want to go. Albeit not quite at the end of it that I want because I hope the thing can see this. Where I'm pointing now is roughly where we want to be to go back to the car. And we will be, we are, well you can see we're here because there's me. Or oh, there's my avatar. Okay, so down here and bare left. Okay. Uh, this calls for some uh, seat of pants navigation, I think. Um, I think I'm going to bear left, actually. It has to be remembered that uh, Pokemon Go from time to time suffers from a player's nightmare known as GPS Drift where the game thinks you're anything up to half a mile sometimes more away from where you actually are which is um, shall we say a little unhelpful at times age-old comment when a tree falls in the forest if there's no one there to hear it does it still make a noise ah. Okay. Two nice brand new Pokestops there that would have got me some in-game benefits, but there's not enough signal to spin either one. So, um... We will, uh... return to the track that we're following and continue to follow it. I must say this looks a bit familiar as if I may have walked it once before or got lost while walking it once before. There was one 
time when I got down to Worcester Lodge, tried to uh, take a cut through the um, forest to get to where I wanted to be. Uh, a little while later, I found myself back at Worcester Lodge. At that point, I just said, okay, we'll um, abandon that down to the main road and follow it because that's guaranteed to get us back to the car. And I think this may be, this fencing looks familiar as if it may be a path and I'm wondering in fact if this is the back of Worcester Lodge. Looks rather like the one that, that uh, pink uh, shrub over there looks rather worth a photograph. Um, camera's going to have to just get a, a look at it through the fence but I, sorry, the, the video camera but I can actually raise this one uh, take it or actually put it through the um, put it through the fence will be easier but now I can't actually find the blooming shrub I'm trying to photograph I'm not looking ah there we go I think yep that's the bird that's the bird Somebody's got a camper parked there, that isn't worth a photograph, <laughs> really. I paused it there for a bit um, to give me a natural gap to insert a picture of the, um, the pink shrub I was just photographing and I see the battery level is showing as red so uh, yeah this may be um, forcibly curtailed Because the camera requires an old style micro USB and the longest lead I've got is USB-C at each end. So uh, putting the camera on charge is not necessarily an easy thing to do here. I'm not going to zoom in on here, we can just see through the trees, one of those yellow height limit things. A quick whereabouts check. Right, yes, things connected and we are nearly where we want to be. And now it says no internet connection, why does that not surprise me? It's, I remember trying to take this gym with Matt one night. One of us had 
zero signal the other had fractional signal yes yeah, so that is the actual driveway access to Worcester Lodge that's the road that leads down to the speech house road but here we are was the walk recreational area and the phone is still announcing no um, no internet Actually, they've even got a plastic bottle there with a few doggy bags in it. It's quite a good idea, although it shouldn't be necessary. So we just take a picture of those. So, for those who are not local to the Forest of Dean, welcome to the Worcester Walk residential area. Um, the play park where I parked the car is known as Worcester Walk Playground and it has other names that I won't mention here because they wouldn't mean anything to people watching it. Um, so yeah, this is the rec recreational area. They will be even more frequent or are likely to be even more frequent stops for photos than hitherto because some of these trees need to be, just need to be found I can't see enough in the other thing okay it's gone off right No, so the batteries run out in this one. Oh. Um, I haven't used it for a couple of while. It's a it's a cheap GoPro equivalent. Oh, right. Cheap and yeah. cheap and nasty. Oh, okay. um, or cheap and cheerful. <laughs> yeah, it's all right in daylight. But I remember one day I walked in the Devil's Pulpit. It's down by down by Chester. down past St Brivels. Oh, okay. right. Walked up there under the trees. Fine. Coming back in the dark, even with my head torch on full bright. Nothing. Not a, not a thing. You could hear me chattering away and did the same through Bobo Woods. Again, you can hear me chattering away, but unless the head torch happened to reflect off a tree like as almost as close as this, nothing. But now what I have to do now is keep the power pack tucked under my arm because this lead isn't long enough. Normally it sits in there. Yeah, you could do it with a little shoulder bag. Or a longer lead. <laughs> I've got a longer lead because this is USB-C. Yeah. This one can do. Uh, this one can do both. Yeah. This is old style USB, yeah. and this is the only lead I had with me. Oh, right. um, I've got a longer one in the car that would reach, so I could put that back in there. Yeah. The other disadvantage of doing it this way is it, it will record continuously, whereas doing it with it not plugged in, it stops every four and a half minutes and saves an element. 
so if you want to get rid of a bit or stick a stick a, a still photo in in the middle yeah. it's easier to do whereas from now until I get back to the car it's just going to record one long piece okay. uh, do, you think you, do you post on <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, what I've done today, cars parked up by the Worcester Walk Play Park. Well, I haven't looked today. But no, I haven't done anything yet, but anyone, yeah. there will, there are. I, was, I went up to Hay Bluff with a friend for some Pokemon Go stuff last night. Oh. Yes, I'm an OAP that plays Pokemon Go, <laughs> oh, and took took the camera with me. Just did a few daylight shots, which went up last night. Yeah. Um, Tonight there will be whatever photos I've taken here and the video, but that'll take a while because I've got to bring all the elements together. Yeah. Yeah. Half an hour video yesterday took two hours for the computer to save and then a further two hours to upload to YouTube. Yeah. That sounds about right. I did some recording a couple of years back. Might even be three years back for my YouTube for um, allergy awareness. Uh -huh. It took longer to upload it. Oh yeah. It's such a pain. Nightmare. Oh, I can't be bothered with this. Roll on did it clear. <laughs> that would be faster. <laughs> I know that because I had Virgin Cable when I was down in Elsie. Oh, I was down right. in Somerset. And that would have been so much better. Because yes. you with me Sky now, if I set, set tell, tell it to, okay, put those pictures onto me OneDrive. Mm. And then tell it, right, now create the album. Yeah. Forever, not it? happening no. I gave up now what I do now I um make up the you're doing something else that's the one but don't try and do the two things at once because no. you're just going to be in problem that's what I tried to do and it confused the hell out of the uh, I, I think my sky one just can't cope no. can't cope with that level of yeah. busyness but yeah down in now see on me um one drive sorry on me cable yeah. oh yeah I could have done both of those, have both of those things running and played the game at the same time. Oh well. <laughs> Can't we have, have everything, hey? What we have to do, don't we? We do. Next thing I've got to do is start this, start this thing recording. Right, well, we need to get home now because somebody's going to want her dinner. Oh, it is. Before we came out. <laughs> it was recording. I'm gonna, I'll, I will delete that bit. Oh, was it recording? It was her? recording our conversation. <laughs> I did that, had that up at Simmons Yacht, set a, you got up in the viewpoint. Yes. Put a camera on the wall filming the sunset. Oh. And various people came by, various conversations, all got recorded. Nobody seemed to mind though. No. No. I met a pregnant lady down there, asked her for directions because I would have gone off sort of 90 degrees from where I needed to go. Uh -huh. Not got here. And again, it recorded it all. She didn't seem bothered. No. Uh, the thing is, if you're okay, they don't tend to. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, then I'll just leave it in there. Okay. Well. Okay. So we're now connected. I've got the uh, power bank under my arm so that the uh, charge lead from the f the camera can reach it, rather than it sitting in the bum bag as it would normally do. And we are now in a Worcester Walk amenity I area. This used to be a touring park at some point, and this. Uh, structure in front of us would have been one of the uh, hookup points, um, but I, I gather it was discontinued because of the amount of litter people left behind before I came to the forest. So uh, my knowledge of it is a little bit hazy, limited to what people have told me. Just shoot some general photos. And on we go. If I can spot the gateway, there was a pond under construction off to the right somewhere. If I can spot the gateway, we'll go around and have a look and see what's there. I don't think it's this one, that looks like it leads more into Worcester Lodge. It's the wrong side of that hedge. Another hookup point, that one wouldn't be quite so pleasant to sit on because of the nettles around it. That one down there was 
quite nicely clear of nettles one could sit on it and indeed had I not had the pasty break in the, the woods I probably would have done here we go this looks like the pond one let's just see make sure there's no signage saying we shouldn't go in there the meadows at Worcester Walk okay we'll take a picture of that uh, which needs a, another camera no I don't want 3x2 I want 4x3 that's better Well, that's not a problem for me because uh, I don't have a dog. Hmm, gate's a bit iffy too. <laughs> Ooh, country code, leave gates as you find them. So we will. The pond, I think, is over here somewhere. And that bundle of stones there just looks interesting for no particular reason. Yes, that'll be... That's answered a couple of my questions today, then. Because I'm guessing that is the Worcester Lodge holiday home that we can see now. But which I'm not photographing. Ah yes, this is looking, this is looking a lot more pond-like than last time I was here. Ah. Uh, Okay, I was wrong. Even with the uh, charger connected, the phone is still saving a segment every few minutes because it's just done one now. Well, that's useful. That's good because, uh, as I said, a bit more work when I get home to join them all together, but much easier if I want to chop bits out. Right, okay. And back the way we came. Uh, this gate doesn't appear to be in the soundest of good order so I'm not even gonna try to climb over it although with the amount of kit I've got wrapped around me it wouldn't be a particularly easy thing to do anyway. So we will uh, open it and walk through it. and then resume the main trail. Just curious, I wonder what that stone thing is. Could have been a litter bin or litter storage for when this was a um, campsite. But it looks relatively inaccessible because of the nettles. I have no desire to get stone, so what it is will remain a mystery. Ah, that looks a little like the pregnant lady I met just now. No, it isn't. Hello. Hello, Doug. 
It's alright, I am dog friendly. That's right, he's not very people friendly. Okay. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's just protective of me, that's Okay, well, that I'll, I'll, yeah. that I'll, I'll see that one, yeah, okay. He's just protective yeah, of me. This one's, that one's fine. This one's fine, yeah. Oh, by the way, this is recording. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I haven't used it for, for a year and a bit. I just thought I'll go for a walk and try and get a video for YouTube as well. Okay, I'll have to cut this bit out then. <laughs> and for some reason, the thing decided to turn itself off there. No idea why, because it's still showing us charging. I suppose it's the penalty of buying a, a cheap and cheerful one, but um, I didn't want to go and spend four or five hundred pounds on a, a proper GoPro when there was no guarantee that I would actually get into doing the photography. And again, yeah, those nettles are uh, going to be allowed to be a barrier. I'm not getting stung on, I'm not getting stung for the sake of finding out what that is. Uh, so this is what I call the upper bit. This is nearer to Broadwell Village, and I love these oak trees. We'll have to take some pictures. We'll take a few from the other side with the sun behind us. I remember once at the beginning of lockdown, the other side of that hedge and down the bottom, there was a group of about 20 people who should not have been congregating. But I thought there's 20 of them to one of me, I'm just going to walk on by. Discretion being the better part of valour again. I'll tell you what, that will be better on a squarer setting because I can get closer in and still get the whole tree. And yeah, some of these shots will definitely be better shot from over here with the uh, Sun behind us. Yep. I suppose one could sweep the grass off of that one and sit on it. I'm sure that grass has been put there by a passerby rather than by the forestry people or whoever. That's a nice one. That, that, that needs the 16 uh, 9 setting again for the open shot. That trunk has been there for four years and it uh, looks just as substantial as it did four years ago. Okay, back to the 4B3 setting. And the wires. One of my favourite uh, functions on these mirrorless cameras is the ability to change the uh, aspect ratio of your photo. Um, I normally run on 16 by 9 I can have 4 by 3 I can have 3 by 4 for tall ones, I can have 1 by 1 for a square one, and 3 by 2 which um, I can't think anyone still uses now. It was common, I think, in early days of photography. But I suppose there could be times when that would enable one to get just exactly the shot one wanted. Now, uh, 
Yes, I have to go right here. Hello, Houses of Broadwell. Signs of human habitation whilst welcome because it means I'm getting back to where I want to be. Also unwelcome because I like the unsportness of nature. And yes, the old three-way one was there. Okay. Let me do a quick check on the route tracker now. Because we should be full circle back to where we um, started. And indeed, so we are. So we just stroll up here. I think we might perhaps take a couple more photos from under the trees. Maybe one there with the light between the light on the more distant trees. That looks good. Now, too far away to reach yet. But this tree looks rather familiar. Could have gone round the end, but um, yeah, I decided to walk over, climb over it, step over it. Now that stump wouldn't be high enough really to sit on comfortably. Now it looks as if I've gone slightly away from my original route but I don't think it'll matter too much because there are numerous uh, ways in and out of these woods That's better. Just using the app I could uh, find where I started from. Just have one. Well, there you have it folks. Hope you've enjoyed the wander through Brawlwell Woods with me. Um, Look forward to the next one. If you've liked this, please like it, subscribe and all those things. Thanks. Bye-bye.